After 15 months behind bars, liberty still feels fresh for Ildar Dadin. The civic activist and his wife, Anastasia, are enjoying each other's company and working out what to do with their lives following the quashing of his conviction. The more I participate in protest activities, the less I'm afraid of actual death. But I'm afraid to lower myself. My conscience is telling me to help those imprisoned and suffering. Then I can leave and travel the world. It's clear his experience has left a deep impression. When Dadin walked free on February 26th, many Russians were already well aware of his accounts of torture and beatings from prison staff. A smuggled letter containing the allegations made headlines late last year. Because of the pressure from society, they had to step back and pretend that they actually looked at my case again, and they released me. But actually, the criminals in robes couldn't revoke the legal article that equates protesters with murderers. Ildar Dadin's release is not unique. In the last few weeks, there have been a series of pardons and overrulings that to some people looks like a pattern. Perhaps corresponding with the end of Russia's winter, there's also a thawing in the country's often repressive approach to human rights and political cases. Yevgenia Chudnovets, for example. Now free, the kindergarten teacher was jailed for sharing a video showing a naked child being humiliated at a Russian children's camp. Here, it seemed a whistleblower was punished for the crime being exposed. And Oksana Sevastidi was pardoned by Putin on Tuesday. Her 2016 treason conviction was for texts she allegedly sent in 2008 about military movements during the Russia-Georgia war. But any talk of a thaw is misplaced, says political scientist Yekaterina Shulman. Rather, we should see the power of civil society to exploit cracks in the system. The great malaise of Russian society is apathy, is this belief that nothing is, can, can be done. Uh, those legends about Thor is part, actually, of this apathetic instinct. If we look at the facts, if we look at this really long line of successes, uh, a large number of cases where society has been able to carry its point, we see that, uh, whether people understand it or not, they are able to succeed. And there's no shortage of evidence for those arguing that Putin's system hasn't fundamentally changed. Two days after Dadin left prison, the home of journalist and political activist Zoya Svetova was raided. Despite the recent releases of some, for others, Russia's police still come knocking. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Moscow.